good morning children today we'll discuss about some applications of chemistry in the last video we have discussed about some notable chemists and their contributions towards the chemistry and also some useful applications of chemistry in industrial field for example textile industry and other industry today we'll discuss about these applications of chemistry in other fields food and chemistry you all know that microorganisms such as bacteria fungi spoils the food and due to this spoilage of the food it will be unfit for consumption to avoid these things the food items need to be preserved and the chemicals that are used for these preservations of the food is known as food preservatives now common methods of these food preservations include salting drying cooking etc and also use of some chemicals now chemical preservatives are also used to the processed food such as ketchups jams pickles to prevent them from rotting and spoiling these lines are very important some common chemical preservatives are sorbic acid benzoic acid sulfides sulfur dioxide sodium bisulfite sodium hyd potassium hydrogen sulfite you can say potassium bisulfite also nitrites such as sodium nitrite so these are the food preservatives these chemicals are used to prevent spoiling of food items next applications of chemistry is in the cosmetics product each and every cosmetics are made up of some chemicals cosmetics are also known as beauty products they cleans protects enhances our physical appearances cosmetic includes lipsticks nail enamels talcum powder hair dye etc this hair dye contains different organic pigments lipstick contains castor oil waxes and all dye nail enamels contain acetone etc the main ingredients present in the most cosmetics include water emulsifiers thickeners moisturizers colors and fragrances these fragrances are the ester the derivative of organic fatty acids all these ingredients are made up of chemical compounds for example talcum powder is made up of talc and talc means it is composed of magnesium silicon oxygen and hydrogen in ancient greece women used powdered lead carbonate to make their face paler so you can now understand the use of chemicals in everyday life in the cosmetic fields there is an activity 
this activity tells you to find out the chemicals present in 10 common cosmetic items okay so you can use the net connections internet connections notebook pencil and pen or you can directly check the ingredients list of the chemical compounds present in these cosmetics okay next is the clothing and chemistry the fibers obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers okay for example cotton for example flax etc these are obtained from plants and animals the early humans wore light fabrics made from cotton and flux okay but now we are using man-made or synthetic fibers today we are using synthetic fabrics are prepared artificially from chemical substances in factories are not obtained from plants or animal sources in this context however i would like to mention that rayon is a fabric which is semi synthetic in nature uses the cellulose which is a natural polymer and also other chemicals however nylon nylons are of different type for example nylon 6 nylon 6 6 nylon 2 3 terylene polyester the polymeric form of ester molecules these are some common synthetic fabrics most of the time we use a term terricot this cloth is made up of terricot what is terricot terricot is a mixture of 50 percent terylene and 50 percent cotton that's why it will be termed as terricot and this terricot this term derived from the term terylene all these fabrics are obtained from petroleum by complex chemical processes such as bleaching in this case of bleaching chlorine is used dyeing in this case of dyeing this is the process to make it colored organic dye harmful organic dyes are used sodium hydroxide uh, chemicals are used printing there are different procedures there in all these steps chemicals are the main ingredients the next topic and the last topic is the medicines and chemistry this is the most important topic now most of the medicines I would like to say all of the medicines not the most all of the medicines I would like to say all of the medicines used today are manufactured through chemical processes definitely they are made up of chemicals and thus they are manufactured through chemical processes chemist has discovered a number of medicinal drugs which help to fight disease antibiotics analgesics antipyretic tranquilizers these are the medicines antibiotics these are the medicines which used to kill or to stop the growth of bacteria in human tissues or human body antiseptic which are used to kill the microbes microorganisms antipyretic which are used to decrease the body temperature analgesic basically used as a painkiller 
Now, penicillin, it can be used as a painkiller. That's why it is also a good analgesic. Penicillin, aspirin, paracetamol. Paracetamol is a good penicillin. Penicillin is also the antibiotic. Is the first ever known antibiotic. All the antibiotics nowadays are obtained except azithromycin are the derivative of this penicillin. Paracetamol, antipyretic, analgesic. Antipyretic means to decrease the body temperature. Analgesic means it is used as a painkiller. Have saved many lives. So these are all the chemicals chemical substances surgeries therapies are made painless and safe by the use of these chemicals so that means we can conclude that all these are nothing but the contributions of chemistry so we reached at the end of this chapter there is a paragraph rapid revision Science is a systematic study of natural world based on the facts learned by careful observations. We have discussed these things in our first video made for class 6. Chemistry is a branch of science that deals with study of composition, structure, physical. Chemistry is broadly divided into three branches, inorganic, organic, physical. These three parts we have discussed in our first video made for class 6. The medieval predecessor of chemistry called alchemy was based on the supposed transformations of matter such as cons conversions of base metals into the gold. The philosopher's stones, the alchemy, their distinctions we have discussed in our second video made for class 6. The first scientist who made the clear distinctions between alchemy and chemistry is Robert Boyle. In the third video we have discussed about some notable chemists. That means in the last video we have discussed about some notable chemists like Lavoisier, Cavendish, Dalton, Mendeleev, Madame Curie and their contributions. And finally in this video and the last video also we have discussed about some apply applications of chemistry in our day to day life. We have reached to our most important part of this chapter exercise. Now first choose the correct option. Question number one the systematic study of natural world based on the facts learned by careful observations and experiments is called option C science people who work for the development of science through experimentations and observations are called option A scientists a detailed study of all kinds of substances present in nature is covered under the branch of science is called chemistry option C scientists to study about the chemistry are called chemists option D the study of elements and compounds other than carbon and or hydrocarbons is done in the branch of chemistry it's called inorganic chemistry option B sit whether true or false, inorganic chemistry is the study of elements and compounds other than carbon and hydrocarbons. Yes, children, of course it is true. Organic chemistry is the study of the principles and methodologies of chemistry. No, it's a false. The correct statement will be physical chemistry. The medieval predecessor of chemistry is called alchemy. Yes, it is correct, true. Alchemists believe the metals to be alive and growing underground. Yes, it is true. Anthony Lavoisier, the French scientist, first established that air contains more than one gas. Yes, it's true. Okay, next is the 
fill in the blanks alchemist believes that they could refine base metals into the precious metals if they could find the substance called philosopher stones yes students philosopher stones harry potter the first scientist who made a clear distinction between alchemy and chemistry was robert boyle Anthony Lavoisier was able to show the relationship between oxygen and metal rusting in rust. Okay student stay home stay safe.